part of the set. Uh, this, uh, this thing of us coming out on the road, uh, I was, I'm always never sure if we're going to be able to figure out just how to do it. And, and whenever we're able to, it's because the people that are with us have, uh, I don't know, just, they're just such amazing people and they're basically doing it, uh, just to be here for the love of it. And without them, uh, we wouldn't be here. So I'd like to just say. Yeah, yeah. I want you to thank Mr. Jared Shabelson on the drums back here. He's holding us all together uh, every night out here, and uh, he's just the shit, so. <laughs> and sweet little Sean Glassford back here. He's He's actually, we haven't told his parents that he's actually out with us yet. <laughs> so, there may be like things on like the sides of milk cartons if they, you know, they show you that. With Sean's cute little face and a nice note from his mom saying, oh, I love Sean, why is Sean coming home? Because he's playing the Moog. <laughs> That's why Mama Glassford, he's got Moog duty. <laughs> All the way over to my left is Mr. Ted Gowans, please give him some love. <laughs> Ted and I have been friends for a little over 10 years now, I guess, about somewhere in there, uh, maybe a little longer than that. But we met uh, right after uh, I, I did a couple little very small little keyboard things on this Tegan and Sarah record called So Jealous. Yeah. I love them too. <laughs> I love them so much that I, uh, I uh, flew myself up to Vancouver and slept on Sarah's couch and, uh, and uh, spent like two days recording all these little uh, uh, blips and blops and things. And, uh, and then when the record was over, they needed a keyboard player, so uh, they wanted, they didn't want like a, you know, just weird looking old me up there. So they were like, we need like some good suave looking Canadian because we're fucking Canadians. <laughs> and so, uh, so that's, that's when they found Ted. Isn't he lovely? Uh, and Ted and I have been friends ever since. And when, when I first met him, he said, hello, Mr. Sharp. It's very nice to meet you. He says he didn't say it, but I don't remember. <laughs> Anyways, I fucking love Ted Gowan. Yeah. We've been talking about him being in the rentals forever, and he's here, and he's with us, so please give us a word. That's what I did on the record. Not the keyboard part, I just sang that. <laughs> and I would like to introduce you to, uh, I'm gonna introduce you them together, but this is Lizzie and Patty of Radiation City. Right here. <laughs> we'll talk about 
about them a little bit uh, uh, later on because uh, I, I have a few things to say about them. <laughs> they are just absolutely amazing. And awesome. to, they are fucking awesome. They are fucking awesome. <laughs> to, to find two women that could sing as beautiful as they could sing who also happen to totally geek out on Moog synthesizers <laughs> is a trip. <laughs> The first day we started working together, they came into, we have this little, like, uh, this little basement room in my house. It's basically like, I gave the, the room to uh, Jose from Ozma. I gave him uh, the room, like, when I have parties, like, this is your room, this is your karaoke room. So uh, <laughs> when it's not the karaoke room, it's like our little rehearsal space. And we had all the synthesizers set up in there. And the first day that Lizzie and Patty came in, they just kind of went, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I was in freaking heaven. I was in heaven right away. And then the last but not least, I want to thank Mr. Ryan Slager all the way over here. <laughs> Ryan's been with the rentals the longest and uh, and you know, I'm a huge fan of Ozma, his band, as uh, yeah. I feel like some of you are as well. But in particular, I'm a fan of the way that he plays guitar, and I really wanted to start this new Rentals album with Ryan, uh, primarily just because of that, because I love the, the way he approaches guitar, and it's just, uh, it's something I was fascinated by, and we both basically uh, had no idea where we were headed when we were starting to make this record, and we just uh, basically believed in each other and the thought that if we worked hard enough, eventually we would get somewhere and make an album that we were really proud of. And uh, I'm happy to say this is the album I'm most proud of in my life. So. Uh, <laughs> And that is that is really uh, that is really due to Ryan uh, being a part of it. So please give him some extra love, man. <laughs> that album is called Lost in Alphaville, and uh, this song is from it. It's called Stardust. <laughs>